The Netherlands breaches the European Social Charter. Belgium heads the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe. And do universities in Romania discriminate against disabled people? Hello and welcome to this edition of The Journal, news from the Council of Europe on human rights, democracy and the rule of law. The Netherlands is not meeting its obligations under the European Social Charter, according to the European Commission of Social Rights. Two decisions this week found that the country did not provide homeless people with enough access to shelter. It also said that most irregular adult migrants are not offered emergency social assistance, including food, water and clothing. The decisions are being handed over to the Committee of Ministers to be followed up next year. The European Social Charter is a Council of Europe treaty which guarantees social and economic human rights. Countries ratifying the Charter have a legal obligation to deal with the violations. Belgium is preparing to take up the chairmanship of the management and decision-making body of the Council of Europe the Committee of Ministers. As one of the key priorities of its six-month chairmanship, Belgium is promising to highlight the responsibility that member states have in carrying out judgments handed down by the European Court of Human Rights. And the European Court of Human Rights has been hearing the case of a man who claims that universities in Romania discriminate against people with disabilities. Razvan Gergina says that his right to education, life, liberty and security have all been breached by the state for its alleged failure to ensure that buildings in three universities were accessible to people with restricted mobility. Mr Gergina has difficulty moving around following an accident and alleges that Romania has failed to provide reasonable alternative solutions to help him continue his studies. Members of the Presidential Committee of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe are in Moscow to meet the Speaker of the Russian State Duma, Sergei Narishkin, and members of the Russian delegation to the Assembly. Pace President Anne Brasseur will also hold separate talks with Mr Narishkin. The meetings are a continuation of ongoing dialogue. In April, the Assembly suspended the Russian delegation's voting rights until January 2015, but not its right to take part in the work of the Assembly. That's it for now from Strasbourg. If you still want more, we're on Twitter and Instagram. From me and the team, goodbye.